we'll get we'll get some stuff ready. I mean, we're, we're gonna need some some stuff, you know. Paint these fuckers. Uh, this this dumb scheme here. Oh, we got we got the handle. We got the sexy handle. There we go. Uh, all right. Well, let's get this. Uh, let's get this guy. Well, I mean, what? Might as well. We don't need an airbrush for it, but might as well use an airbrush uh, because it's just gonna go faster, right? Yeah. I mean, we got we got the airbrush. And we're gonna use it. And we got uh, El Chiparino over here. The... All right, so today we are gonna paint a Dead Guard uh, model, and we are gonna do this uh, with a very. We're gonna use a very speed painting uh, approach to it, but I think it's gonna look nice. Uh, you can do this without an airbrush, which is why it's really uh, great. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Get your little Dead Guard here, and we'll be on our way. So. Uh, yeah, we got we got our guy here. Uh, it is painted in army painter green and we did this with a shaker can uh, So that's the cool thing is you don't need an airbrush for this because the shaker can does all the work But shaker cans are not perfect and you can see the little uh, green plastic underneath is still Plastic so we want to cover that with good old regular army green. So that's what we're gonna do Might as well use it, you know it is working all right so now we're really more interested in the in the bottom of this like all of the underneath part because that's where the the primer is like non-existent right if you look at it from the top uh, most of it is like th that darker green the lighter green is the um, is the plastic color because this is one of the like easy to build or uh, demo guy That's kind of uh, all that there is to it. Perfect. So we're going to leave this guy. Well, actually. Uh, let's dump this back in. I poured like way too much. Way too much. Boop. Just dump this. And that's kind of maybe why I, sh I shouldn't have used an airbrush. Because now, now we're going to spend more time cleaning and setting up, up all of the airbrush than just using it. Uh, for this guy, so there we go. Because there, there was so few things needed on it, but you know, you know, whatever. We are back. Okay, right, let's move this guy up over there. Now we're gonna use a big ass brush because what we're doing is not really fancy, or is it? So what? What we're gonna do now is just block every color. So we're gonna get like one guy with like one base coat on everything and. You know, no exception really. So army green first, and now we're gonna use lead belcher. You can use um, gun metal or whatever, whatever dark silver you have. It's fine. I like this one because it covers like nobody's business, and that's what we like. At least that's what I like. I don't know about you guys, but I like it. All right. So and now we're gonna do all of the silver part. We could do them like in rust and everything, but we can also do them in silver and then just uh, go from there. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And now the cool part of this this little technique here is uh, we don't care about anything that is not gonna be green. So we can basically uh, paint on top of whatever as long as it's not the green armor. So the only place we have to be careful is that green armor. Because we don't want to touch it up, you know. It's not that. It's not a big, big deal. It's not. It's not a big deal if if we we hit it by mistake. But you know that that allows us a lot of likely way. So we'll do the entire gun silver, and then maybe we can pick out some details afterwards. That that we don't want to be silver, but you know, it's a good starting point. Drilled out guns, that's that's where it's at. So like step one of making any model better, is the gun drilled, yes or no? The answer is no, drill it. Uh, you know, 10 times better already, all right. Um, okay, so we got the dead gun part done, and then we're gonna do this little uh, hand grenade thingy. 
I love these because they're like big pipe bombs. I think that's cool. Medallions. Alright. Now the little cloak here, uh, we can do that a bunch of different colors. I think the traditional one is purple. Uh, but we could do it red, we could do it black, we could do it um, like bone colored. Uh, I don't know, do you, do you guys have like a preference? I don't, I don't mind any of the ones I just listed. We could do all of these. I think it would all look good. And these little uh, these little balls here I don't know really know what they are but I, I think just to give uh, just to give the backpack kind of a little uh, little break or a little something to and then we want to do maybe the little spike there how many uh, surfs oh yeah we can do the spike for sure let's just do like the outside of it All right, so we're gonna rinse this guy out. Now we're gonna move on to gold or bronze. We can do either. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna pick uh, Balthazar gold instead of uh, something like Retributor or uh, what's the other one, Rune Lord Brass. We're gonna pick this one that's like kind of a little bit leaning on the bronze color uh, instead. So that way, that will kind of uh, double as like bronze. We can work it uh, whichever way we f we feel like. You know, by adding like black, it's gonna turn it more into bronze, and by adding uh, sepia or brown, it's gonna stay kind of gold. So now I've switched to a, a smaller brush here or a, a finer brush because the, the other one was a little bit trashed. Because now we're doing mostly trims. Uh, but doing the cloak first would have been really smart because it's super deep inside the model, right? So, so that kind of makes it uh, a prime choice for whatever we want to do first because then uh, we, we don't have to worry kind of about hitting that because it's so hard to hit, right? Because it's super down inside the mini. Whereas anything that's over the cloak, uh, you, you know, you get more chance of hitting those while doing the cloak. Just to get, to get started with, with this process, uh, shorter videos were better so that doing these uh, speed painting things uh, is great. So now now we, we are kind of in the, the dilemma part of doing these little things here. Uh, so all of these little uh, trims are, are, yeah, I guess they're trims. We, we could do them in, in gold or we, we could leave them. It's it's a really, this is kind of a, I'm not sure, like I don't, I'm not sure it adds a lot to have like these little lines there. What we can do it, we'll, we'll try it out. Again, I if they're green, yeah, it's fine if they're you know gold. It's fine. Boom. Okay. All right. Do we need something else? So this part here is wood in there. This is a little. Uh, oh, maybe the little fly there. There's like a little fly under the gun. We we should do that. A little, uh, and maybe the bullets as well. Again, it's something that. So we are at three so far. Let's uh, let's do some sort of brown now. We're gonna use this uh, bone. Well, let's do the the that little bone or light brown color uh, oh no wait let's no now now we're gonna do this little uh the little cloth thingy all right hold on we're gonna do cloth thingy so we're gonna use nagarot knight uh oops well you can't see but it says nagarot knight on it um and now it would be nice if we had some other things to do than, than besides that, but we on this mall we kind of don't. But if you had like cloaks or hoods or whatever, whatever, all of these extra details we would do uh, with with the purple. So now again, this would have been way smarter to do first, uh, but you know uh, we we didn't. All right, so we're, we're still gonna take a, a couple of seconds just to check. Maybe maybe we want to, maybe we want to do the, these little things here in purple as well. 
right so that is purple and then do we have anything so all the tentacles we're going to do them in the, another way here so we don't need the purple for that so we are now at four colors so four is kind of a decent number and like it, it's at five if you include the primer but the primer is the same as one of our colors so that we are four now five six seven eight nine so we're you know bordering uh, nine i think nine or ten depending on how much effort we want to put into these little uh little, little skull but this might be 12 total and then and then the base so you know not not breaking a bang like 15 total if you if you include the base or we do bases and we include colors that we're already using for it uh, so, you, so you see here in the, in the middle here, that's, that's, that's no good. And again, a tentacle, we don't give a shit because it's not painted, right? So that's kind of, a, that's kind of why we're doing it last, right? Because this, this little tentacle there, uh, painting around it would, would be a bitch. But now, because it's not done, we don't give a shit. We're going to paint over it. So another good like rule of thumb is never to do uh, touch-ups until you do all of the touch-ups at once. So right now I'm touching up the silver, so I should look at every part where there's silver to make sure that it does not require a touch-up. Pretty on point with everything uh, and everything around it, maybe that little spot. All right, so we are good to go. So I'd rather have this color, which is uh, darker and a little bit maybe pink. Oh, yeah, more more pink, pinkier. Um, that's not exactly the one I want, but I will. I can do one pass with it. So one pass, I, I've because this is a speed paint thing, remember? So one pass is much better than having the exact right color, but doing 93 different fucking coats because it's not working. So that's kind of a, a sacrifice that I'm willing to make is uh, maybe, yeah, maybe this, this color is, you know, not exactly the one I want, but, but you know, it, it works overall it works so much better so i'm okay i'm okay with with this little compromise oops now we did we did a little mistake here that's okay we're gonna finish what we're doing right now and then we're gonna uh first of all i noticed that we forgot a little thing so we're gonna do that and that is a little uh, little dot there on the uh, on the knee pad but i, I kind of like the fact that like if you do a, a whole army this way then you can kind of play as you go because you know all right so i'm sorry all right, reindeer, done. You know what, let's just switch. I feel like I'm not giving you your, uh, whatever, Fox donations uh, worth. Is there a side to this? There we go. Okay, here we go, all right. All right, so shades. So let's do, let's, let's think this through. So the armor is going to be Seraphim Sepia, that's for sure. That's for granted. We're going to start with gold and maybe we'll do the brown as well. Uh, but we're definitely starting with, with the gold. So now we have our graph searching. Now we're being sort of careful, right? Not not doing the whole like Leroy Jenkins uh, all in type of approach. Because uh, we don't we want to put the this, this little shade here uh, onto everything. We just want to, you know. All right, so now we're kind of happy with with this, and now now it looks even worse because now the the green looks so flat right next to the, that that gold. So now now we are going to be uh, doing something very un uh, uncharacteristic for me, uh, and then now we we're not going to pull this, so we're not, we're going to do very very thin coat. So now what we want is just like an even coat on everything. We don't want we don't want to pull it just like we did on the brown where we were like super generous and we was like. <laughs> like freaking uh, animals uh there's a time and place for that and that is not the sepia uh stage sepia we just want some sepia on everything uh and again we're trying not to hit anything that is not the green at this stage well in fact we're trying not to hit anything that's not the green uh period for sepia and just like ju I'll, ju I'll just do this half of the backpack just so you can tell the difference and like it, it is it is insane in terms of uh Again, in terms of of contrast, what what it does? So let's let's just do this this whole uh, th this whole right side here and, and ignore the the left side for a while. And now the now the silver sticks out a lot because it's so light. So we're gonna address that now. One when you do like super heavy washes like this, we kind of now have to be mindful of what we're doing uh, with our little guy because if we shake it too much, uh, it. It's gonna move the ink around and we the, the shade around and we really don't want that to happen. And now color number nine is gonna be 
non-oil. And null oil, we're going to do the violet or the purple, call it what you want, and uh, the silver. And now we can be pretty freaking generous because uh, purple and silver, they love that shit. So they love the null oil. You can see. So, so it's, it's, it, it is gold, but it, it's a darker shade of gold. I don't think in, on, in, in Dead Guards, and especially in like such small like areas, I don't think it adds a lot to do that. So that... That's one reason. I would never do it, even if it was a, a more like detailed. I would not do that on Dead Guard. I think I think it's it's better on like larger areas. You can always kind of uh, bring it back if you if you're a little too heavy-handed. You can you can play with it. We're really we just want to spike a little bit our uh, our tentacles because they're flesh-colored and we don't want that. We want that that sexy little pink color. I'm just gonna go go about and again very lightly. We're not overdoing it here, and we're being very careful because we don't want to put that pink on anything else. This is exclusively for tentacles. Again, again with the contrast and everything, you want to finish uh, each tentacle that you start before moving on to another area because we don't want it to, to dry halfway. And then because because. He's got like two little gems here, and then we could do the isolate in, in that color, or we can just kind of not ignore them. So we could use something like this. Or wait, do I have them brown? Oh, that, that way. This one. Something like this, or maybe uh, one of like these, or these the good size? Nope, not a good size. Yeah, so a bunch of bases here would do great. Uh, a bunch of different stuff actually would be great. Let's let's break this guy down. Well, no, let's wait for this guy to dry, and then we're just gonna paint this little base here while we do this. But we don't, you know, we could have done this differently or at a different time. Don't, don't need to do it now. But you know. we're here. I want to complete this thing, so let's let's do that. So we're gonna use this big uh, big old dried bark color. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna need extra colors for the bases. No, no way to shortcut this thing. We can't, you know, we we can't use uh. We can't use all of the colors that we use already, but we're gonna use one for sure, at least one. So if you have Rhinox Hide because uh, it's the more popular of the two, uh, use that one. But all I have right now is dried bark, so we're gonna use that one. And again. This is another thing of like do them in bulk. If you, you have a whole army, do all of your ar army's uh, bases all at once. You take all of them, you do all of them. You do the army uh, transport thing or the army display it at the same time. Uh, you never never really do one base like I'm doing right now uh, because again you save a buttload of time and especially for this where if you spray them you save a like an unrealistic amount of time uh, right. Boom. Okay, so now all right thanks guys